other thing I think for coaches to always keep kind of uh, on the front burner is how am I going to use my subs? And if I am going to be using my subs, then I've got to get them into the mix with the starters and, and let them get some opportunities so they're playing with those individuals so that they're comfortable, the starters are comfortable, and, you know, you, you don't know. So if we're looking at, you know, right now, you know, the Olympics are coming up and you've got seven players probably that are your key players. And then you've got a couple of subs. You might have one middle. So she's going to go in in case one of those two people get hurt or are having trouble. And you've got maybe one or two outside hitters in a similar situation. And maybe a right side player uh, is a part of that. And you have another setter that you might need to bring into play if, if your team is struggling, uh, not just if the player is struggling. So everything has to kind of come through because if you want to develop a competitive practice, sometimes what we find is the team responds better to a secondary player because of the energy and how they go about it uh, than, than some of the starters that are very comfortable and maybe too nonchalant about what's going on. So I'm a, I'm a big advocate of making sure that the subs that I am gonna use, now I might have a roster of 20 kids. I can't get all 20 in the play, but I, can, I might be able to get 10 or 11 into the rotation comfortably and identify to those other eight or nine players that you know, they're more in a developmental phase and when they become relevant and they can get in the, get in the drills and help at some point in time, then that's what they'll be able to do. So uh, 